My name is Janis Kallis. I'm a, I'm a consultant gastroenterologist and hepatologist. So fatty liver is probably uh, the most common liver condition uh, that I see. Um, there are many causes of fatty liver. Um, drinking too much alcohol uh, is a common cause. Another very common cause uh, is being overweight or having high cholesterol or having diabetes. Fatty liver tends to cause absolutely no symptoms um, and uh, therefore very often it, it's found by chance. So it may be that a patient has a scan and um, uh, fatty liver is commented upon. The scan could be for something completely unrelated. Uh, it may be that by chance they are found to have abnormal liver blood test results and so are investigating uh, the reason why. It's very important to diagnose fatty liver because it's not always a benign condition. There is a proportion of patients who over the, their lifetime can go on to develop cirrhosis of the liver from fatty liver. Very often when I'm looking after a patient with fatty liver, I will perform a fibro scan, which is a non-invasive test to see how much fat is in the liver and also, more importantly, to work out if that is causing any scarring or damage to the liver. The main form of treatment of fatty liver is to find out the underlying reasons and to treat those reasons. So it may be to help a patient to drink less alcohol. It may be to help a patient to lose weight um, by changing their diet or taking regular exercise. So one of the things I always remind myself when I see patients with fatty liver um, is that um, they will also potentially be at risk of other conditions so it doesn't just affect the liver. People with fatty liver um, could have high blood pressure, could have high cholesterol, may have diabetes. So it's important to think of the overall health of the patient.